You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. Welcome back to The Money Hour on 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, November 2nd show. I am your host, Tina Mitchell. And I am your co-host, Keelan Harvey. We are your local mortgage experts. We are here to help you build a strong financial blueprint one week and one show at a time. If you're hearing our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast, but we're here to answer any questions or connect you with the guests that we have on the show. Please call the show at one 855 400 1150 Again, that's one 855 400 1150 or online at themoneyhour.com. In studio right now, we have Catherine White of Accelerated Results 365. Accelerate your business growth with power. That's with a double R. So excited to have a conversation with you, Catherine. Thank you so much for joining us in studio today. Thank you, Tina. It's a pleasure to be here. Wonderful. And a little bit about Catherine. Catherine M. White is the founder of Accelerated Results 365. She is also an author, a speaker, and the creator of Power with a double R as an innovative business coach and consultant with over 20 years of expertise in finance and business management alongside dual coaching cert- certifications. Catherine brings her clients unique tools for building effective business processes using her signature program, Power with a double R, which is comprised of four key components that you need to master in order to build a thriving business. Money, marketing, mindset, and movement. Catherine's philosophy is small, compounded efforts lead to large, exponential results. Hey, that sounds a little familiar. It does. I love that. Mm -hmm. And it makes, I mean, it's huge. Can you expand on that for our listeners, please, Catherine? Absolutely. Well, first of all, this is true for every area of our life. I'm going to speak specifically in the area of business. When I'm working with a client, they tend to get really frustrated if they're not moving fast enough or making big enough steps. And the point that I make here is that the smaller steps taking little by little at a slower pace Mm -hmm. will get you further a lot much quicker, Mm -hmm. which sounds like an oxymoron, just like the also the name of my business, Accelerated Results 365. Mm -hmm. And here I am promoting, take it slow, take it a little bit at a time. And so what happens when we try to jump into the the big results too fast is we jump in being unprepared mm. or we jump in without having the proper expertise or knowledge or training, et cetera, and we end up hitting more roadblocks, larger roadblocks, and you're going to fall on your face probably a lot harder than if you just take those small steps a little bit at a time. And also what you find out when you take – as you're taking those small steps – when you you feel like you're going at this snail pace, mm-hmm. but when you stop and you take a moment to look back at what you've accomplished, that's when you realize, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I have done so much more yeah. than I realized I had done. Yeah, it's my uh, first professional core practice is rejoicing your small successes. Every small step matters in the biggest way. You can't leap up a flight of stairs. You've got to take one step at a time. And, you know, as we were coming into studio, we were talking about the candy jar. Victoria, our director of marketing, was making a joke about it because uh, she knows, you know, my example I give. You can take a piece of candy at the receptionist desk or not. And it's, is it okay to give your permission per self permission to do so? Well, if you do, you've given yourself permission to take that piece of candy. Now, every time you go by and that's going to have a ripple or a compound effect. So the good news is if you make the decision not to take it, the results are going to be much different. So, so the compound effect can work for you or against you. Love that. So what about uh, your background? Share a little bit about your uh, background with our listeners, Catherine. Well, how far back do you want me to go? As far as you want to (laughs) go. Really, I believe that our entire life, everything that we go through, all Mm -hmm. of our experiences is a piece of what builds us up to what we are today. And that is definitely true in my case. As a young girl, I loved to play office manager or or business owner Mm -hmm. or teacher. And I literally, I came from a, a large family. And so I had several siblings that I took care of or helped take care of. And I love to sit down with them and pretend I was I was the boss or mm-hmm. I was the teacher. And so that was really my first introduction to doing what I do. And then as as I got into my older young years when I was 
about 10, I started, I learned how to make my own money. Mm -hmm. um, I, if you will, I had my, my own businesses in doing house cleaning, mm -hmm. paper routes, babysitting. And so I, I learned at a young age to get out there and, and to make things happen. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward, I, I did go to college. And in college, I decided to get my degree in accounting. The reason for that was that I knew that I wanted to start my own business, and that seemed like a viable option. Over the years, I've, I've worked in business in many different areas, getting to understand the different pieces of business from mm -hmm. finance to HR to accounting. And I've taken all of these pieces, and then I eventually Open ended up business. Open, opening my own business. Yeah, exactly. Love that. Catherine, how did you land specifically in this line of work as a, as a coach and a consultant? That is a great question because 10 years ago, I had no idea that's what I was going to be. When I was in college and I knew I wanted to start my business, I had no idea that mm -hmm. it would lead to this. And how that happened is really just part of my journey that I've been on over the years and little by little taking those steps, trying to figure out, I know I want to do something, I'm not sure what, yeah. but continually educating myself, learning, learning, learning. And through the course of that experience, I eventually came to the point where I, I was introduced to coaching. And literally, it was because I, I answered something, a survey on the internet. And it was about me being open to opportunities. Uh -huh. What is this opportunity? Could this be what I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. So I completed this survey. I got a call. Somebody talked to me about this program for coaching training. And I knew instantly, this is it. Yeah. This is what I want to do. And I jumped right on board. Exciting. And, and since then, it's been, it's continued to evolve into now that I, I have this coaching certification mm -hmm. and, and knowledge, now I, um, I started bringing in all of my other experience in the business world yeah. with accounting and business management and finance, and I brought it all together under one Well, roof. and that's why, you know, when you say every small, you know, small choice that you're making, every little thing that you're doing for your business every day is continuing to grow into what it's meant to be. So let's talk about you call yourself a coach and a consultant. So why do you call yourself both, and what's the difference between the two? Well, most people will focus on one or the other, either yeah. they're a coach or a consultant. I call myself a coach. Mm -hmm. And I found that that in the business world, when I was coaching somebody, I was missing something. Or mm -hmm. if I went to the con uh, consulting mode, I'm missing something. And the reason being is that as a coach, the primary role is to ask questions. It's to help the person, my client, discover what it is that they mm -hmm. want, to set their goals, and to really find their own answers in how they're going to move forward. And consulting on the other side is about actually hands-on, I come in with ideas that you might not have thought of, yeah. or I bring resources or tools that you didn't know existed. And so I get to provide you with that and, and give you education education and guidance in that area. And I, with my clients, I feel they really need to have both sides. Yeah. Well, with that, I'm definitely a consultant. I'm not a coach, but I'm really a mortgage person, but I have a yeah. coaching program as well or a consulting program. A woman of many hats is what I you are. I am definitely a woman of many hats. <laughs> that's, that's a fact. Uh -huh. um, you, we've been referring to power with a double R. And so I'm curious, what does that stand for? What's this double R power we're talking about mm -hmm. here? It's power. Power. <laughs> I see. So exponential power. <laughs> I see. So it's an aggressive power. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what it is, it's, it's my system that I developed to be a guide to help people accelerate in, mm -hmm. in their business or their life. And what it stands for is power, or P stands for possibility. And so I work with my clients to help them stretch their thinking and find what's possible. And, and I'm not talking about what they think is possible, but really, truly how they can reach their true potential, mm -hmm. which we typically, most of us don't have any clue what our true potential is. O is for outcome. And and so I work with my clients and helping them determine what is the end result. Although mm. I say that end result loosely because really there is no end, right? We all of course, when we we're get there always we keep growing going. and getting better. Yep. Absolutely. Um, w is for workable steps, going back to what we talked about, yeah. those small compounded effects mm -hmm. or efforts. 
that's the the steps that where we break it down into taking that big goal that may seem completely uh, unachievable and we break it down into the tiny little steps mm-hmm. so that you can take those small steps and eventually get to that big goal. E is for environment and creating an environment for yourself yeah. and for your team mm-hmm. that's going to be conducive for success, that's conducive for achieving those goals. So it's really about empowering yourself and empowering others. And I get into also empowering your community, which I know, Tina, yes. you're really big on. Mm-hmm. The first R is for resources. That's where I get to have fun with using the analytical side of my brain. And I I get to look at an analysis of your business, what you're doing, and what can we do to make it more efficient or more effective and what tools are available for that. And then the last R, that's the fun one that most of us overlook. And that is relax. (laughs) Well, relax can definitely be part of it. Rest. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. R, the last R stands yeah. for rewards. Mm. Oh, so important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. And yeah, reward. I mean, and that, yes, a lot of people forget that last piece of it. You're doing all of these things so you can ultimately get to the reward, whatever is that is more time for your family, more time for your community, more rest, more relaxation, more recreation. That would be mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, it's beautiful. Um, tell us what the, what, the role of money, marketing, mindset, and movement play in the success of business? Well, everything that you do in your business falls into one of these categories. Yeah. Either it has something to do with money or marketing or mindset or movement. And sometimes it runs across multiple areas of this. Yeah. So what I do is I, when I'm working with a client, I break down what we do in these four categories. And just in brief summary, when I'm talking to them about their money, I'm looking at how are you managing your money? Are, is it effective? Is it, are you profitable? What is your cash flow like? And then also look at what are you doing to grow that money? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, marketing, marketing comes into play. What are you doing with your marketing? How are you marketing? Is it effective? Is it attractive? Is it attracting the right type of clients? And then... I work with them on their mindset, and this is where the coaching piece really comes into play because as a business professional, well, really anybody can struggle with this mindset. As I said, we, Mm -hmm. none of us really understand what our true potential is. And so we, we have a tendency to create these stories about what's possible and what's not. Mm -hmm. And so I work with my clients in the area of their mindset and helping them see what truly is possible and get them thinking and that's in, important on the coaching side because that's mm-hmm. where you have to, they have to voice it themselves in order for it to become real for them. So um, I love that. And what about movement? Movement. Now, movement is a piece that most people or businesses really overlook and don't think mm-hmm. about. And that is it's so important because with movement, the when we're actively moving throughout the day, when we have a a physical activity routine that we follow, it greatly impacts our mindset, which is going to then impact our success. And so while it's not my place or your place to dictate what somebody does um, physically for their physical activity, it it is important for us in business to be able to educate our team about the benefits and importance of movement. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, (laughs) Catherine, we're running out of time, um, and I know it goes so quick. Um, but before we go, I would love to ask you, um, and I'm sure listeners are curious, what type of businesses do you work with typically? Well, power is really effective in in any business. I have found that for me working with, or what I enjoy most working with are businesses that are in the area of service, a, a type of service industry. Mm-hmm. So that could be contractors, cleaners, real estate brokers, insurance brokers, et cetera. Mortgage service, people. M- Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Those who who really care about what they're doing and want to make a difference. Yeah, so that's that's great. Well, Catherine, thank you so much for uh, coming in and, and sharing with us. I love the uh, coach versus consultant. Um, I have to think about that one. Uh, it was a pleasure talking with you. Look forward to having you come back. Thank you, Tina. Coming up next in the Money Hour, the new Home Start Home Ownership Grant Program, Jeff Dickinson of EXP Realty, right here in 1150 AM KKNW after the short break.